What's up everybody, Stevdez here, and welcome to Streets of Rogue. I just went into the tutorial, and the reason why I'm going to do the tutorial is so that you all understand what this game is like. Oh man. Once home to peace and prosperity, the city has fallen to the, to the hands of a ruthless and dictatorial male. Mayor. Male. Uh. Can't breathe. Can't talk this morning. Elected on vague promises of lower taxes and more beer, his true colors began to show immediately upon his inauguration. The mayor's first executive orders were a massive raise on taxes and a one-time confiscation of all alcoholic beverages. He stated that the confiscation was so he could throw the mother of all ragers for his cons constituents. But in reality, there was only, like, one keg and a bag of tortilla chips. It was super lame. He used the money to and extra booze to, find, to fund a private army of goons, happy to carry out his every nefarious bidding. Before long, the city had fallen into a state of chaos, but there is still hope. A secretive organization known only as the Resistance has been formed to fight back against the mayor's tyrannical leadership. And that is where our tale begins. It is time to embark on your journey into the Streets of Rogue! Welcome to Streets of Rogue. I like this game. Also, the music. Ah. Uh. So, you want to join the Resistance, eh? Well, there's something you should know. Our standards for entry are extremely high. I'd offer words of encouragement, but I seriously doubt you're gonna get very far. Your first task is to move around. Use the left analog stick. Do you think you can handle this? Also, even though it's got the arrow keys in the, the bottom left corner, I'm using a controller. So, you know, it's gonna be at left analog stick as opposed to WASD. Holy crap! You did it! Now open that door by pressing the interact button, A. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. Oh. No way. No way! That's the farthest anyone has gotten in a long time! I left a little something for you in that chest. Can you figure out what to do next? Well, close the door behind me for once. You know, that's what you're supposed to do when you enter a house. Close the door behind you. Oh, a lockpick. Wow! Oh my god! But, but there's no way that you could possibly figure out what to do with that thing! Um, well, the glowing door is a good hint. Use lockpick. Holy crap! Holy, holy crap! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> he got so excited, he blew up! Oh, no. He spontaneously exploded. I am so sorry you had to see that. On the plus side, you must be doing pretty well so far for him to get that... Excited. He had a lot of emotional problems. Anyways, no use moping around. I'll take over from here. I'm teleporting you some money. Use it to buy a hacking tool for our staff shopkeeper. Alrighty. But there's a banana! I have enough money to buy both. Boop, boop. Haha. <laughs> Access your inventory by pressing X. Then press A to select the hacking tool. Use the right analog stick to aim your target at the computer. And press A. Or I can use up on the D-pad because that's what the hacking tool is set to. Ha ha ha. Hack computer. I want to hack the TV just... Just, <laughs> just to show you what you can do. Because hackers can hack anything. You don't need a hacking tool. Uh, you can blow up a television. It's a wonderful thing, really. But, uh, no. I need to hack the computer in order to get this done and over with. Actually, can I waste it? I, I kind of want to break the- I'm gonna break the tutorial! <laughs> that sounds like fun! Blow it up. Well, that's one way to handle it. <laughs> Alright, fine. Punch you. I'm going to send you on a little trial mission. To see what it is, press Y. Generator. Okay, well. Okay, because I exploded the TV, it let me through. And the computer would have let me open the door that was locked. Okay, so that's what's up. 
Hostile. And it looks like he won't be too happy to see you. And by the way, if someone's name is Yala, it means they own the property. I'm teleporting you a wild bypasser. Try using it from your toolbar. Press the D-pad in the direction it corresponds to a slot. You mean just like I did with the hacker and you wanted me to bring up the item menu last time? Well, I'm bringing up the item. Oh. I did it wrong. Yeah, not quite. Here's another one. Hostile. Oh, okay, well, you just said the same thing. Boom. There we go. Typically, a red door means that people don't want you in there. Meet our staff bouncer. He'll be playing the part of bad guy, but he's been instructed not to fight back under any circumstances. Hello, nice to make your acquaintance. Ricky, feel free to wail on him as hard as you can. He's a big guy, he can take it. Um, excuse me, but I don't recall agreeing to this. When you signed your resistance paperwork, perhaps you recall section 7C, which states members are subject to any and all of the resistant leaders' illogical, dangerous, and or sadistic whims. Well, I would have read that more carefully, but to be honest, I was it was kind of impossible. Did you guys really need to write the entire document in braille? <laughs> Such a charming game. Yes, we're making efforts to be more inclusive and diverse. Look, you have no right to allow some random guy off the street to take shots at me for the sake of some, what did you call it, tutorial? We can do whatever we want to you. We're the ones in charge. You know, this is the same sort of ridiculous authoritarian, authori ah. <laughs> authoritarian crap the mayor pulls. Stop being a wimp, you'll be fine. We gave you that sweet hard hat, remember? Fair enough. Punch this lovable brute by face forward and I'm gonna press RT or just, you know, use my right stick to aim. Bam, 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 bam. Now grab that weapon and give him a good whack. Oh, come on. <laughs> grab that tranquilizer gun and cycle to it using RB and LB. Use the right st analog stick to aim. Put a few darts in him. Up, uh, up. Uh, I missed. There we go. Aw, oh, sleeping like a baby. By the way, do you see that blue meter at the top of your screen? It's skill points for XP for things like murdering and lockpicking. Now walk through that red sensor. It's totally safe and not harmful at all. <laughs> uh, actually, it'll explode, so. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. That never gets old. I hope you're okay. Take this bacon cheeseburger. You can quick use your health item by pressing B. All right. Here's something you can use to deal with lasers a little more safely. Just use it like you do with the other weapons. Or I have this banana peel. Oh, what? Ow. It wouldn't let me throw the banana peel. That sucks. All right. It's like you have to use the rock now. I'm going to give you a really cool special ability that you can use. See? Open this door. To use it, press LT. <laughs> the special ability I gave you was cry profusely. I mean, that's not very useful at all, is it? Check out your chat stream. Press back. Cry profusely. Causing you to cry like a little baby. Serves no purpose except to embarrass you. <laughs> this is what you have to do when you start the game. <laughs> okay, okay, but seriously, here's a key. Oh, whoops. I just accidentally teleported to the elevator where you first came in. Open your mission screen with Y and then hover the elevator icon and press A. So, yeah, you can teleport from place to place in this game. That was good. That was good so you didn't have to walk everywhere. Once you grab the K, you can quick teleport by holding Y. Under normal circumstances, this will... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I destroyed that generator to complete mission. All right. Um... All right, yeah, it's gonna blow up, so. Punch, punch, punch. Okay, now I need to back up. Mission complete. Aw, oh, you need to get out of the way. You're no fun. Anyway, sorry for all the hazing. They're pretty tough cookie. We only lost one person during this exercise. That's a new record. <laughs> I guess you can join the resistance now. Congratulations. Speak to the doctor when you get in. We'll see about getting you another bacon cheeseburger. Step into the elevator to come join us in our home base. Poof. 
And that's what happens. Every floor, you gotta go from elevator to elevator. Yeah, this this city apparently is built on top of one another. It's like uh, Midgar in Final Fantasy VII. Maybe that's a game I'll play, because I've never played that. Yep, so I get out of here, because it's a woman's room. All right. So I have a few other things to let you know before we send you out on the suicide mission, um, completely achievable mission about taking care of out the mayor. First, since you're new to the city, you should know that it's built in vertical layers, like a lasagna. Slums at the bottom, then the industrial area, then the fire, outdoor park, downtown and uptown at the top. The only one way to get from one level to the next is through elevators. Second, in addition to your primary wet mission, we're going to need to do a bunch of other tasks for us. They'll be highlighted on your map, like that generator you blew up. You'll need to finish your missions on a floor before you can travel to the next one. Third, resistant leaders like myself will help you out by sending you rewards for completing these missions. But that's about all we can do for you. We're less doers and more idea men. For example, it was my idea to send you out on this mission. So do be proud, because there might be a promotion in it for me. Fourth, as you might know, the mayor has banned chicken nuggets. Due to the fact, due to that fact, that they once caused him a my tummy ache. Yeah, really? <laughs> chicken nuggets have since become a rare and precious commodity. If you can strange up some chicken nuggets, we can trade them for things that can help you out. The doctor, thief, and soldier can brief you a bit more on the nugget situation. Or if you want to head into the city, the elevator is to your door. Good luck to you, young rogue. Oh, and by the way, stay out of the ladies' restroom. That kind of activity embarrasses the resistance more than it does you. Really? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. All right, so that's Streets of Rogue. I've already unlocked all the characters. I've, I've played this quite a bit, and I just want to share it with you good people. It is a lovely little game, and I love the soundtrack to it. Listen to that. You can cut a jig to that all day. Anyway, so I've already unlocked all the trades. I'm working on rewards, which use chicken nuggets. So I'll go ahead and get an electro pill. Why not? Giantizer. That's another reward. Okay, so rewards are like rewards for missions. Loadout is what you can take into the into the next run that you do. All this other fun stuff. So if I go in, the, you can see all the characters. You got the slum dweller, soldier, gangster, crip, and uh, gangster blood. That's that's the that's a play on the Crips and Bloods, the the gangs. Um, then you got the thief, you got the shopkeeper. Lovely. Um, bartender, laptop, com or oh, not laptop, hacker, comedian, assassin, wrestler. What's wrestler? Pick up and throw most one. Oh, okay, cool. The vampire, cop. Gorilla, scientist, doctor, jock, shapeshifter, investment banker, werewolf, cannibal, slave master, zombie, and then I made my own custom character who's strong enough to break walls with the sledgehammer he has. <laughs> so it's, it's a wonderful thing because you can make your own character and it's so balanced. So that's all there really is to Streets of Rogue. So you know the story. Next time I'm going to show you some gameplay where I'm going to attempt... To beat, let's see, what do I have to do for extreme time? Left? Complete the levels within two and a half minutes or you're dead. So, I'm going to attempt to beat, wait, what? Oh no, uh, I complete the game with time limit, okay. So, I have to beat each level within four minutes. So, you're going to see how hard that is in the next episode. So, thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!